Hey there guys, Crystal here, and welcome to yet another Behind the Scenes. In the three years I've been actively working on this channel, the one thing that's changed the most would have to be my audio quality. Having at least decent audio is so important, especially when you're trying to reach your audience. At the very least, your audio or voiceover should be understandable. At best, it should be clear, crisp, and undistorted. Now, that being said, better microphones can be expensive and you really shouldn't sink your money into one unless you're absolutely sure this is what you want to do. Currently, I'm using the Blue Yeti USB microphone. It's an excellent mic and definitely one of the best USB mics on the market. When I first started though, I was using nothing but my built-in mic on my old Acer laptop. The audio quality was kind of terrible. I upgraded a little bit to a standing desk mic which I purchased for under $30 and while it wasn't very good, I did learn how to edit my audio to sound just a little bit better. That, along with how to set up everything, is the topic of this behind the scenes. I hope this is informational at least, and helpful at best. To start, you'll want to decide where you want to record with whatever mic you have. Even if you don't have a good mic, you can somewhat increase the quality during setup. Ideally, you'll want a room with carpeted floors and no large windows, so the exact opposite of what my room is. Having a floor-to-ceiling window and hardwood floors is not the best for audio quality. I personally use Audacity for all of my audio recording, as I've mentioned in countless other videos. It's completely free to download and use, and once again, I'll put the links down below in the description. While you're at it, we also need to download a plugin to Audacity called Compressed Dynamics. First install Audacity and then the plugin. To install the plugin, download the file and then open it. You'll need to copy or move compress.ny to your plugins folder in the Audacity file as shown here. Links for this plugin are also in the description and the full installation instructions are in there. Once you've done this, start up Audacity and hit the record button. Obviously, speak as clearly as possible and be loud, but don't yell. Putting your face right up to the mic will not help your quality at all. The next part involves some editing, but it's pretty simple once you understand it. I'm going to cover this in three easy steps, so hopefully it's easy to follow. Go into the effects menu and find equalization. It basically enables you to change the frequencies of your recording. These settings are going to change based on your setup, mic, and voice, but I'll share my personal settings. First, check the box marked Graphic EQ and turn the first 9 sliders from the left all the way down. I then make sure that the remaining sliders are in the middle. I definitely recommend playing with these sliders to see what works best for you though. Again, under Effect, scroll down and find Compressed Dynamics 1.2.6. Here is the add-on we installed earlier. This is very straightforward, and if you aren't sure what each of these options do, read the description at the top of the window. Again, my personal settings are Compress Ratio is 0.8 Compression Hardness is 0.879 Floor is negative 18 Noise Gate Falloff is 4 and the Maximum Amplitude is 0.99 I found these to be my perfect settings after a lot of trial and error, so I definitely recommend fiddling with them to find out which is yours. This is the final and most simple step in the entire process. Once again in the effect menu, scroll down and find normalization. Click it, and then click OK, but first ensure that the first two boxes are checked, and the last one is not. It should be set to negative 1 dB. Simple as that. And that's about it. This is all I do in terms of audio editing before I release a video. Obviously, your personal settings may vary a bit depending on your mic, your voice, or even where you're recording. Regardless, I hope this was useful. If you indeed found this useful, then why not like, comment, or maybe even subscribe? As always guys, this has been Simply Press Start, where gaming is as simple as pressing start.